Hello everyone, my name is Darlene Ventura and in this occasion I'm going to talk about three short stories that are 11 by Sandra Cisnero, Time and Machine by Aldous and Huxley, and Christmas Morning by Fran O'Connor. Uh, in the first on, I'm going to first talk about the 11, the short story called 11 by Sandra Cisnero. And I think we move forward in life, we all go to the years that came before us. And even though we get older, we all still have moments when the shy within us comes out. Sandra Cisnero, speaking through Rochelle, tell us that life is like the layers of an onion or little those that are stay one inside the other. And you are 11, but inside of you, okay, is a layer that is 10, a layer that is 9, and a layer that is 8. Something that caught my attention was that even though you have like 100, you are still have the, when you have a moment, you can react like if you have on 50 or if you have one, and that's it. Uh, when you have a situation and you cry, you can cry like a people that have three years or something like that. And even though you can see that, that you have all the years that can that are before you, they are still there and they always be there a part of you. The second story is the Tiny Machine by Aldous Huxley. And the idea of time a machine as a hours and minutes is an ambition mother of modern societies, centering around the rise of business and this true realization. Something that comes that caused my attention was that he wants to realize about the difference or comparisons and from the people who are pre industrial or people that live in a life that is industrial. For example, Mm. And living in an industrial town is when you always be aware about the time. And the people who are pre-industrial are the people who are, doesn't care about the time. They don't realize about the time. They only know that Thursday or is mine. And that's something that caught my attention and also that we need to be conscious about our time. He refers on to time is a titan and it states that humans are currently aware of time, especially following like the clock and following each second, like watching our, our clock and seeing that it is um, 12 o'clock or something like that, like following a schedule for life. In the third story that reads Christmas morning, something that caught my attention was the, the behavior of that kid. I didn't like it because you need to be good with your mother. And that's the, even though the mother, she, she was trying to be a good mother because, but the, the bad thing that was, that, who, um, that she was always comparing uh, here a him with his brother, that with his, with his own, own little brother telling him that that he was good in cooperation with him and and that mother wasn't wasn't um, realizing that she was uh they mentioned uh, her her behavior more uh, telling him that because and with that comparison she was telling him that she was be more and more bad than even though be a good boy. Thank you for watching me.